hit pan. I hit pan. Hey everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Jasmine Shanice and in today's video I'm going to be doing a, a simple back to school glam. It's school season. It's full effect. And so I really wanted to just show you guys how I always did my makeup when I was at university. So without further ado, let's get into it. But before you continue watching this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have more supporters to join this family. So let's get right into it. Okay, as you can see, my eyebrows are done and I've already primed my lids with, what did I use? I used the Morphe Eyelid Primer Translucent, uh, yes, it's translucent. And this is how it looks, kind of ashy, but it's nothing that I'm not used to because I do use, I typically use a lighter concealer on my eyelids for priming so I can get the full effect of the color so I just want to go ahead and jump in eyes because whew, eyes take the longest for me and so I'm just gonna go into one of my current palettes that I always is using I'm always jumping into the Morphe 3502 palette so this is where my eye look is going to come from. Um, let's see here. I'm going to take a Morphe, Morphe brush. This is the Morphe M332 brush. And this is just a basic blending fluffy brush. So I'm going to go into this shade right here. Um... When I was in college or uh, when I was off at a four-year university or institution or rather some people like to call it, um, it was either a makeup day or a no makeup day. I, I, it, there was no in between. I didn't just wake up and I'm like, you know what? I didn't wake up every day talking about I'm going to do makeup. I did not. It depended on how I felt, what I was doing, what was on my mind, what was the agenda to, for today. If it was fried chicken Wednesday, then nine times out of ten, I did not have any makeup on because I knew that I was going to be looking busted and crusted by the end of the day. That's just how it is with me. Um, I'm going to go into my Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to use this color right here. Um, I do not have the names in front of me, so, sorry. So, I'm just going to put that directly under where I put the previous shade. Am I recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Okay. Just to deepen it a little bit and give it a little bit of definition, not too much. Because I'm actually only dipping into the shade once and just dragging it out. I'm not um, interested in. So next, I'm going to go into. Da, 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 da. What do I want to do? I'm going to go into this color right here, this brick color right here and just cover that in my entire lid I use that to cover my entire lid I'm gonna be using I had a bunch of messages come in but I'm gonna be using this brush right here this is like a eyeshadow brush like a I don't know it's a brush that I use to cover my lids with I really have a method for how I like to put my eyeshadow on I'm kind of just dusting it on here like I'm not being strategic or anything like that. Like I'm just doing it. This is it for the eyes. So for foundation, I'm gonna be using this Clinique Beyond Perfecting 
um it's a two-in-one foundation plus concealer um this is the shade uh, amber um this is actually my summer shade and i actually this is my first time ever using this foundation in any way shape or form and homie when i tell you i love this okay now that, that is done i'm gonna go into my concealers one concealer is to uh, contour which this one is the makeup revolution conceal and define this is c18 and for concealer i'm going to be using my tried and true color pop no filter um this is the in dark 48 Okay, you know what? This is not gonna work. I'm gonna have to go get up and get my beauty sponge. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm back with my blender. This is a Japanese sponge. Um, this cost me ten dollars. Um, let's see. If you add ten more dollars with that, you probably you could get a beauty blender just saying like just throwing that out there if they want to know I want you I should probably do a back to a tiny bit. that's all okay now for setting powder I am using my favorite beauty bakery girl wait hold on sis the lights reflecting off of it but beauty <gasps> beauty bakery i know only got like 30 subscribers here on youtube i just want to let you know that i'm a fan i love this this i stopped i, I stopped using laura mercier because i respect this so much Okay, this is the Beauty Bakery Flower. It, um, this is yellow, but it does have four. It has four, ah, no! Four different, um, shades or, um, or, um, what, what, what do you call it? Um, four different flavors if you will it has um translucent they have um chocolate um chocolate well uh pink and yellow in other words vanilla strawberry chocolate and white <laughs> sorry <laughs> Set the forehead. Set the entire forehead. Set the entire forehead. And kind of cut the contour just a tad. Just a tad. up the eyes i'm gonna just keep it cute and simple you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna go back into that brush we use to cover our eyelids and i'm gonna go right back into that color right here and i'm just gonna sweep that across my 
bottom lash line. I'm kind of blending it down as well. For blush, I'm gonna do my favorite, all time favorite, my MAC Raisin. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I'm using something expired. So, but I haven't broken out. I use this faithfully. I've had it for like a year now. <laughs> I'm really feeling my look. It's simple but it's cute and that's what I was going for that that's was the point okay for highlight I'm going to be using this highlight brush that I got from Milani it was like eight dollars it says all over blending but it, it's advertised as a highlight brush I got this because this reminded me of the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, I think it's the a 23 brush it's the one that they sell in like all Sephora stores, all Ulta stores is the brush where you will find um, their highlight, the highlighters. Um, that retails for $25 and this looks oddly similar to it. So I said, okay, this is a good dupe. And this one was $8, I think it was like closer to nine at Walmart. So this is a good dupe for the Anastasia, just by the looks of it. I've actually never tried Anastasia. So. I've honestly never tried the Anastasia um, highlighting brush to actually tell you that this is a dupe, but I know just by the looks of it, it look it appears to be. Okay, I get that right. Okay, for highlight, I am going for a subtle. I like a subtle highlight. Um, also like a blinding highlight. There's a time and a place for everything. Okay, you guys. And for this, if you want to go to class blinding on your classmates, being a distraction, you know, every time you turn your face at a slight angle, you got the light hitting you right here where it needs to be. Honey, you do it. If they come in with glasses talking about you made me blind, who cares? You did your job. But, you know, today is a day that I want to be subtle. I want to be simple. There's nothing wrong with that. Remember that, okay? So, for my subtle look, my subtle highlight, I'm using the... Um, actually, this is the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible um, collab. This is the Deluxe Edition. I'm using this highlight right here. As you can see, I've hit pan. And it really makes me... It really hurts me that they don't sell this individually. BH Cosmetics. It hurts me that you guys do not make this shade individually. I would I truly would love to have that shade individually. Like it could come in the form of a of an eyeshadow, I will still use it. I love it. I like as you, y'all. As you can see, I hit pan. I hit pan. See that? It's it's gone. <sighs> BH. I know I only have like 30 subscribers here on YouTube. I got like 400 and something on Instagram. I'm not on your radar. I understand that. I know my role in life, but. If you, for whatever reason, see this video and you think, hey, let's make that highlighter permanent and put it on our market, I guarantee you the first customer will be me and I will pay top notch. I won't pay top notch. I'm broke. Okay. Let me not lie to you. I will buy about five or six. Of, of the same shade I, I would do that 
um but that's up to you though i'm not i'm not here to tell you how you run your business that's not that's not about who i am but i am here to um give you a suggestion thanks <laughs> i just love this highlight and i really like this brush it's like it's hitting on the places that i needed to hit to me this is a nice subtle glow i like to blend my um highlight all the way down my cheek I just like being that person. I'll tell you why you should wear highlight even without makeup. Because when I go to the gym, when I do go to the gym, I put highlight on even when I have no makeup on. Because you look naturally dewy. That's number one. Number two, why you should wear highlight with or without makeup is because you got this beautiful reflection just bouncing off your skin. Number three, you'll catch somebody's eye. Like I said, you'll turn your head slightly. That light from the, the other sources of light hit you. It's, it's gleaming, it's, 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 it's just shining, it's dancing. And then that cutie, he notices it and he like, ooh, what's that? She's shiny, girl, yes. We shiny over here. So I'm gonna use my Prep and Politics Plus, which I'm almost out, and I got a second one. Hey, babe, I got, I got a backup right there. You waiting on me? I'm gonna set my face. Mm. Oh shit! Ah, it's in my eyes. Oh, okay. Ooh. <laughs> okay, guys. Now for lipstick, I really don't have a suggestion for you. I'll be real completely honest. I don't have a suggestion for you for lipstick because my lipstick collection is dire. But um, I'm a gloss girl. I'm a, my go-to situation is a gloss. NYX got some good glosses and they're hydrating. You, we don't, we don't slip in college when it comes crusty lips we don't do that There's too many people around just get a gloss any gloss you can get that you can get that uh that uh, hair store gloss the clear one for like two dollars put that on girl do your thing be pop here's a lesson you need to know you make the makeup the makeup don't make you it's actually a line from the Players Club. The original quote is, you make the money, don't let the money make you. It's a true statement. I agree with it. But, don't get it twisted. You make the makeup. Don't let the makeup make you. Which means, don't rely heavily on makeup to be beautiful. In any way, shape, or form. I know people who refuse to take pictures because they don't have on lip gloss. True. True story. Oh, wait. Wait, before I run out of time on my thing. I didn't put on mascara. So, I'm going to use Too Faced. You know, Too Faced. Okay, guys. This is my final look. This is 100 and 20,000% extra for just going to class. Understand that. This is 2,000% extra for just going to school with. I understand that. But in life, you just have to take these chances. There's nothing wrong with being extra, honey. Who wants to be basic all day? If you feel like waking up with a boatload of of highlight on your face and black lipstick you walk out of your house with 15 layers of highlight on and a good black lippy and you work it okay 
This is your life. You live it how you please. I only start judging people when they start harming others. Then, you know, I'm not here for all that illegal stuff. I'm not about that illegal life. But I am about that you do what makes you happy life. You understand me? Do you understand? I'm glad we come to this agreement. So with that being said, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for taking the time to listen to me. Just talk about nonsense and makeup. Thank you for taking the time to click. Thank you for just taking the time to click. You're so sweet. You are smart. You're loyal. I appreciate that. Okay. Well, y'all have a good day. Bye.